Why do we keep food in the refrigerator? What would happen if we do not keep it in the fridge? Let us see. Yes, definitely food would get spoiled. Milk, if you keep it for a long time outside, it gets rancid. And fruits like apples and bananas, they get rotten. Now, all of these effects are because of the bacterial action on food. These are the external effects of bacteria. Now, let us see some internal effects of bacteria. Now, some bacteria can be spread while breathing from one person to another. Since it spreads while inhalation of air, it directly affects the lungs and such bacteria, they are known as mycobacterium tuberculosis and they cause a life-threatening disease known as tuberculosis, which is a respiratory disease. Another disease that an airborne bacteria causes is pneumonia, which is caused by the bacterium Diplococcus pneumoniae. Now, this disease is spread by the throat and the nasal discharges. And since this bacteria affects the respiratory system, it is characterized by difficulty in breathing, coughing, and sneezing. Now, airborne diseases are not only limited here, a bacteria uh, can cause a condition known as diphtheria, which is another airborne disease. This disease generally occurs in the children and affects the throat. Now, the bacteria can be transmitted through the discharge from the throat and the nose uh, while coughing and sneezing. A way to prevent this uh, disease is DPT vaccine. Here, D stands for diphtheria. Now, the next disease this vaccine caters to is whooping cough or pertussis. So, in DPT, D stands for diphtheria and P stands for pertussis. Now, this whooping cough or pertussis is caused by the bacterium Haemophilus pertussis and it is characterized by extreme coughing and troubles in breathing. Now, this bacteria can spread by the discharge from the throat of the infected person. Now, bacteria can be waterborne also. These waterborne bacteria directly affects the digestive system, causing cholera. Now, cholera is caused by a specific bacterium known as Vibrio cholerae. Now, waterborne diseases are not only limited to cholera, but it, waterborne bacteria can also cause another disease known as typhoid. It is caused by the bacteria Salmonella typhi. This disease is transmitted through excreta of infected person and contamination of food by flies. Now, the characteristic of this disease is extreme fever and appearance of these reddish eruptions on the chest. Now, the third disease DPT vaccine caters to is tetanus. Tetanus is caused neither by an airborne bacteria or a waterborne bacteria. This bacterium that causes tetanus, known as Clostridium tetani, is present in rusted objects. So, when this rusted object comes in direct contact with human blood, then human beings can contract this disease known as tetanus. The main symptoms of tetanus 
is swollen throat and lock jaw. Now, bacteria does not only cause diseases in man and animals, it can also affect plants. Bacteria can cause canker disease in certain fruits like limes, and it can cause a ring disease in vegetables such as potato. Some countries may be preparing germ bombs, which when exploded in the air would spread a lot of bacteria like anthrax bacteria in the air, and that might cause an epidemic and cause death generation after generation.